so in order to add our sound first we need to import our sound files inside our sound folder uh, we have already included our sound for the balloon click event all right if i open this up pop me and if i click on left press you can see that uh, we have added our sound zero when we click on this balloon all right and it has set to false because we don't want this sound to play again and again all right so first of all let me go and i'm going to open this up and i'm going to change its name and i'm going to name it burst all right and i'm going to open pop me object click on release and it has already updated its name all right so now uh, this is the sound that i will also use for uh, my touch event for all the balloons in my play screen all right so now i will go to blue balloon and inside my left breast rather than using the this object i will use the script this time uh, to add our sound all right so to add our sound we can write audio underscore and if i go down we must find audio play sound all right and inside it i'm going to name my sound object so burst this is the name of our file and after that uh, we need to set our priority that which sound should be uh, played first so i'll say it 10 and the loop should be false we don't want this sound to play again and again all right so i'm going to copy this line click this tick we could also drag this object uh, inside our actions window and select over um, this file from that window all right but uh, i'm showing you that how to add sounds inside our script it has a kind of benefit to add sound with the script everything that you can add or do with these built-in tools you can also do the same thing with the help of script all right so that's why i'm using both the things uh, just to show you that uh, how to use scripts as well as build built-in objects so i'll click ok and i'll go to green select open the script and i will paste it right here okay open the yellow one left pressed open the script and inside this script i will paste this line as well and the last one is our purple balloon so we are done with our all the balloons click event all right so now i will play the game so let's click on play button and it will open up the game for me click on start and if i click on it uh, you will see there will be a sound that we already added so there is a sound so you can see that there is a sound for all the now let's go and add few sounds inside our sound folder i'm gonna create and click on this one and i'm gonna click on coin pick and our lost balloon first of all coin pick and coin pick sound and i'll click ok if i open this again you will see that there will be a slider for our volume let's bring it down i'll click ok let's add over another sound for our lost balloon so i'll click on last one okay let's click ok so i will name it lost okay double click on it we have our slider and if i drag it down to decrease the volume so we have added our sound now let's open up our coin object inside our left breast we have already added uh, this play sound if i open this up we need to uh, let it know that which sound we want to play when this coin will be left pressed so i will click on coin pick set the false uh, loop equals to false and I'll click OK and OK and another thing that I want to add is inside the step event we are checking if our balloon has gone down or not so this is where we have we are checking so here is the benefit of doing or playing sound inside our script if we use built-in object we can't add a condition that if 
this condition matches then play the sound but right now you can see that there is a condition and inside this condition we will write our line and that will be used to play our sound okay so i will write audio underscore play and we have sound and inside it we need to give the name of our sound so we have our lost l o s t this is the name of our sound priority is 10 and loop is false all right so i'm gonna copy this line and i'm open up all the balloons inside the step event and i'm going to paste that line open the green one go to step event yellow one step and the last one is our purple balloon all right so we are done with adding over all sounds on our objects now let's go and play our game and check the sounds if the sounds are uh, playing properly or not so let's check this out our game has started click on start and i'm gonna click on pop me so there is a sound lost balloon there is a coin balloon sound as well all right so we are navigated to our next end screen so our sounds are working fine if i click on replay there will be a sound as well all right so our sound is working fine so let's close the game so we are done with our sound now we have to do two more things in our game that is our uh, pause game on this object and we have our go to menu game all right there is not that much menu in our game but i just want to show you that if you develop a game that contains a big menu you must know how to create the menu uh, inside your game so let's go and do that you can see that we have already included our pause object inside our objects folder uh, but now we need to add another object that if we click on pause object there should be a button called resume all right so i'll right click on sprite create sprite and i will load my sprite and inside it we must have a button called resume and this one i'll open this up and i will name it resume underscore sprite and i'll click center click ok so we have added this object inside our sprites folder now i need to right click on objects folder create object select that sprite and i will name it resume underscore object okay and i'll click ok so now first of all uh, we have already added this pause object you can see that there is a pause button right here and now if we click on it then there should be a resume button shown up on this screen and all of our game the movement of balloons uh, should be paused up okay so i'll click on this one and i'll open up this this pause object and inside it i need to click on mouse and left released all right and i will open this control and drag my script inside my actions window and inside it i need to deactivate all the objects that are running on my screen we have our scores we have our balloons we have our sound so we can we have one line inside game maker studio that we can use to deactivate all the objects so i will write instance underscore deactivate all and inside it i will send it a boolean true all right so it's gonna deactivate all the things and now i need to destroy this button event once the resume button shown up uh, i need to destroy this pause button okay and instance underscore destroy and this is gonna destroy this pause button the above line is gonna uh, remove all other objects except this one we need to explicitly destroy this particular object so now uh, we have paused our game but we haven't shown up our resume button we need to show our resume button when this uh, pause button is clicked 
so we can also do it inside our script but i want to show you uh, with the help of the built-in objects uh, inside our uh, menu so if i click on main two at the top you can see that there is a objects tab and inside it there is a bulb sign and i will drag this one right here and we have this create instance window and inside it i need to select on self and from here i need to select the object which i want to create and after that i need to give it uh, a position that has to be uh, added for this object and the position should be center so i will write room underscore width divided by two and inside the y i will write room underscore height divided by two okay now click ok all right let's save our project and i'm gonna play this one i haven't implemented yet uh, the click on resume button but i just want to see if our pause button click actually working or not click on start click on pause me and this is running i'll click on this button so now there was a balloon at the back uh, that's why there was a sound so you can see that as i clicked on that button uh, we have all other objects have been uh, paused uh, statically they are stopped at their position where they were already all right and we have a resume button now we need to add a click event on this resume button uh, to uh, go back to our game play screen and to do that let's open up our resume underscore obj object and inside it i will add a left released event let's bring up our script and inside this script i need to activate all the instance that was previously deactivated all right so i'm gonna write a kind of same function so i will write instance underscore activate all all right so it's going to activate all the objects that was paused uh, with the function instance deactivate all okay and now i need to destroy this instance resume button instance otherwise it will keep on shown showing up on that play room so instance underscore destroy all right uh, if you remember that once we clicked on this pause object we destroyed our uh, paused button right here all right so this wasn't deactivated this was actually destroyed okay so when we click on resume button uh, we also want that uh, resume button that pause object to bring back at there at its proper position okay so I need to create that object because previously it was uh, destroyed. So I'll go to main two tab, not main two, uh, I'll click on main one. Okay. And inside the main one, we have at the top the bulb, uh, bulb icon and I will drag this one. So we have our create instance window and I will select this pause uh, this pause obj all right and from the top i will write 70 and from the left i will write 70 and from the top i need to give it a value 190 all right so i'll click ok and now ok all right so now let's go and run our game I'll click on start, I'll click on pop me and I'll click on this button. So we have our resume button. Now if I click on it, that balloon should be shown up uh, and the game should be started from the same state where it was stopped. So let's click on this one. So you can see the game has started. Let's click this one again. Alright, there was a star. Now if I click on it, we should have star shown on our play screen. So there is a star. Alright. So you can see that our pause functionality has been done. Now we need to implement our main menu function. For the main menu functionality, I want to show up a message. 
uh, that if user clicks on this button let me show you this button then we need to re-verify from the user that you actually you really want to go to the main menu because uh, you are in progress and your scores will be lost so click on yes or no so we need to import our three more objects uh, from our assets folder so I'm going to right click on sprites create sprite load sprite and inside it we have no so I'm going to name it no underscore sprite and I'll click on center and I'll right click sprite create sprite load sprite and we should have our yes button and this one let's open this up first because I'm looking at it first so text sprite and I'll click on center it as well so now just import the last one and let's go to the bottom and at the bottom we have yes open this up and I'm gonna write yes underscore sprite the name of my sprite so I'll click on center and click OK now I need to make the objects out of these sprites so I'll right click on my objects folder create object and I will click on no sprite and I will name it no underscore obj click OK right click object create object click on this icon uh, yes and I will write yes underscore obj okay and the last one is our text create object select text sprite and I will write text underscore obj alright now uh, let's open up our menu underscore object and inside our left released event we need to bring up our control and same as we did in our pause event uh, we need our uh, we need to deactivate all the objects that are running behind okay so I can write instance underscore deactivate all and inside the parameter I will send it true and I will destroy this instance all right and now I will go to the main one tab and I will drag this window create instance window and now I will create all these three objects with the help of this uh, create instance window all right so I will right click on it and I will click on yes object and I need to give it some position all right on the left side I will show a yes button on the right side I will show up the no button so I will write room underscore weight divided by 3 and from the top room underscore height divided by 2 plus 100 and I'll click OK and I'll drag this again for the no object no and I will give it room underscore width divided by 3 plus room underscore width divided by 3 divided by 3 and from the top I will give the same H E I G H T divided by 2 plus 100 and I'll click OK and I need to show up my text underscore object okay so I'll select that text and I will give it position from the left room underscore width divided by 2 and from the top room underscore height divided by 3 all right uh, so that's pretty much it now let's go and check this out if we click on this menu underscore obj object uh, we should navigate to our screen uh, with all these three objects created okay so let's save our project and I'll go and click on my play button so I'll click on start button I'll click on pop me and I'll click on this icon there is an error 
so all right no object so let's go and let's open up our menu object and open up create instance of no object all right here is an error we have added room plus width actually i should have added room underscore width okay so here was an error so it's good for you that you have seen an error first time in this video that how to resolve that error so here was an error so i'll click ok click ok and i'm gonna play this again let's play my game all right let's click on start of me and i'll click on this menu icon and you can see we have our screen with a message we have yes button no button there is uh, nothing going on right here we need to add our click event on this yes and no if we click on no then we should navigate to our playing screen if we click on yes we should navigate to our start page all right so now let's close this up and i will go and click on yes and i will go and left released and i will drag my script and i will write room underscore go to and i will give it the name of my room start page all right and let's click ok let's check this out if we, our start button click event actually working let's click on start of me click on menu and click on yes so we are navigated to our start screen now let's go and add a click event or our no underscore obj button let's open our no underscore obj object and add our left released event and inside it let's bring up our script so what i'll do now i will activate instance underscore activate all and i will destroy this particular object that is opened so we have no object opened so i will write instance underscore destroy all right but on the same room on the same screen we have two more objects uh, that are created we have our yes object and we have our text object we also need to destroy those objects as well so how can we destroy it we have used instance underscore destroy that automatically destroyed objects that is opened and in and the script that is written inside that particular object so in order to use this function to destroy any other object uh, we have something called width all right and inside the width we have to give it the name of object on which we want to apply our functions so i will write yes underscore obj and inside the body of width we can uh, execute this function all right so this will go and check this out if yes underscore object exist and it will apply this function we can write anything inside it right now i'm destroying the object that is written inside this object this function so i will copy this one paste it and i will change its name to text underscore obj and i need to destroy both of them so that's why i have written this inside it all right so the last thing that i need to do i need to recreate my menu underscore object all right if i open up my menu underscore object inside the left released event and script i destroyed this object i need to recreate this object uh, inside my play screen we are in play screen whether we are clicking uh, in pause button go to main menu button all right we are creating and destroying object dynamically with our scripts all right so now let's uh, go back to our no object and i'm going to use the same method let's drag over bulb icon and inside it i'll click on this icon and i need to select main underscore object to recreate this i'll give 170 and in the y i will give 190 okay let's click ok click ok and i'll save my project 
and I'll click on this play button uh, to verify the no uh, click event from my main menu screen so I'll click on this one we have we are still our play uh, in our playroom uh, but we have destroyed all the other objects we have deactivated our balloons and we have created three objects now I need to click on no button uh, to destroy these three objects and bring back our main menu button and replay our game so I'll click on it you can see that our game our game has started from the same point where we left and we have the menu button again let's go back to our menu so we are done with our game all right next thing I want to do is I want to increase the speed of balloons this is the last thing that I want to do in this game and after that I will uh, just show you how to uh, export this game for your Android device so let's go and write the script for speed up the balloons with the time but there is one small thing that I want to share with you there is a small problem inside the game maker studio if I play my game and if I uh, my balloons are started creating in my playroom by default the game maker studio enables double click so if the speed of balloons gets increased with the time we uh, our increase our speed of clicking our uh, left mouse button or speed of pressing the mobile screen will be increased all right so as it will increase the device will consider our speed uh, as a double click so if we double click anything it will consider as one click so while double clicking on two balloons our one balloon will be popped up when I face this problem I spend a lot of days to find out the solution uh, to find out where is the problem and once I found the problem uh, I thought that I need to deactivate the double click uh, double click event inside the game maker studio so now I need to create a controller I just need to add one line inside this controller so I will add a create event and I will bring up my script and inside it I need to write just one device so I will write device underscore mouse underscore DB click enabled and I will give it false disable double click okay and I will click on tick icon click OK and save this one and I need to add this controller actually open this up and double click controller okay open the playroom and I will select this particular controller double click controller click right here and drag it right here all right uh, you will not see any difference right now but if you play this game on mobile device you will really uh, face this problem uh, and I have resolved and show you how to resolve this problem so now let's go and create our we have our speed controller okay and inside this controller in order to speed up our balloons we need to keep on checking our scores I will uh, increase the speed of balloon based on our scores that how much scores we have made and based on those scores we will keep on increasing the speed of our balloons so now let's go and add our step event and bring up the script and inside this script I will write the codes to speed up the balloons so let's make this screen a bit bigger so I'll click on this maximize so it has become bigger now inside it I will write a bunch of lines but the lines the logic of lines are pretty simple I'll use if conditions to check the score so I will write global dot your underscore score uh, if it's score or scores let's let me check this out okay go to score controller create and this is your score okay so let's open this up and this is the score and I will check if it is greater than 30 and global dot your underscore score is less than equals to 60 then I need to increase the speed and for that I will write speeds equals to 17 global 
dot create equals to 16 and global dot create underscore coin equals to 200 all right with the speed as the speed of balloon increased uh, we need to keep uh, the distance between balloons uh, same all right if the balloons keep on uh, speeding up and we don't uh, increase the distance uh, between balloons then uh, there will be a lot of difference and the creation of balloons uh, will be too long okay and there will be a lot of distance vertical distance between balloons so we need, need to keep on tracking the distance vertical distance between balloons with the help of these two variables now I'll copy this one and I will add uh, five to six more conditions so let's copy this five six more times and I will just go and change the values right here so I will change the 30 to 60 and this one to 100 okay and I'll change the 17 to 19 16 to 14 because I want to if the speed of balloons gets increased I want the speed of creation of balloon to be increased all right so that the distance between balloons uh, remain the same and I will uh, create the coin at more speed so I will write 220 and after that inside it I will add 100 and I will change it to 150 okay let's speed up the balloons from 17 to 21 and create will be at 13 speed and change from 220 to 240 and inside it let's add 150 210 and 23 1 2 and 2 40 okay 300 210 and 25 11 keep the create coin to 240 okay and another thing is let's change it to 400 300 and change the 17 to 27 10 and 200 to 240 and the last one is if it's greater than 400 less than 600 then we need to change the speed from 17 to let's say 30 and creation speed 9 and let's add 240 I know that the logic uh, of speeding up the balloons can be modified and can be written uh, in much better way uh, but uh, being a silly programmer uh, I just uh, didn't want it to uh, think on it or spend time on it if you have another good algorithm then you should write that one rather than follow me and speed up the balloons like that okay uh, so uh, we can write as many conditions if I want to increase the speed as much as I want uh, but I will go uh, with these much conditions okay so let's click um, minimize this window and I'll click on tick icon and click OK and click OK I'll save my project and I will play my game to see if uh, with the scores increase the speed of balloon gets increased or not so let's pop me and I'll just play this game
if you are analyzing carefully then you must see the speed is getting increased with the time it depends upon uh, the scores all right and we have made our 200 all right now i'm going to end this game to see if the high scores are updated or not so let's let it go so we have our current score 239 and we have our best scores 239 so guys we have completed our whole game and uh, we have implemented all the functionality that we discussed at the start of our game now it's time to export our game for our Android device and I'll show each and every step and I'll give you uh, the assets for our logo for our splash screen logo and for the multiple sizes logo that are required for our Play Store uh, requirements so let's go and export our game for our Android device and I'll show you the running game on my Android device.